Hi, I want to present you the Savonius calculator that I made some time ago and I hope I remember everything that I did here. <laughs> you have here the efficiency, it's a 20%, then the air density 1.2, usually this is a good value to have. It's It could vary from one location to another but uh, not by much and it will vary with temperature and with altitude and things like this but 1.2 it's a good value you could search more about this and then um, there is no more number of generator it's usually it will be one so but you could choose to have two or three generators in parallel for one wind turbine and you can introduce the number here and then this is more important this is um, parameters of the generator and I, I put here some numbers that I took from one servo motor that I have and I have some picture here with this okay this one and you'll need these two parameters uh, one it's the the voltage output uh, that it's dependent on uh, on number of the rotation on, on RPM and then uh, you have here the impedance of the motor that it's 8.1 ohms if you have these two then it will be enough this is a quite small servo motor that I purchased on eBay uh, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it but not too much and really small like it's 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 22 centimeters I think so and uh, next is the speed ratio um, again this could be one if you want your generator to spin with the same speed as the uh, as your turbine and you could choose any other value depending on what kind of gearing you want to use uh, next is are the dimension of the wind turbine you have this this is the diameters and this is the height of the turbine like you see the height it's 2.4 meter this is about 8 feet and this is just 14 centimeters just just a little bit bigger than a DVD or a CD and then um, you have the speed of the um, turbine uh, at certain wind speed this 1 meter per second 2 meter per second and up to 16 meter per second and up here you can see the the same speeds in uh, kilometers per hour and um, you see that uh, this small turbine will will spin with 136 rotation per minute um, at one meters per second wind speed and um, of course this this actually it's uh, when if the turbine will spin with the same speed as as the wind but uh, the Savonius wind turbine will uh, will spin slower usually 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 of the wind speed so this is a good thing because this type of wind turbine will not be too noisy as most of the other type of turbines spins much faster than the wind speed but this one it's uh, actually slower and then you have the generator speed that it's uh, the same in this case because you have no no gears and then um, also you have the wind power this is um, this is the theoretical power that you get in the wind at one meter per second so but of course the, the turbine will only be able to use 20% in this case because it's the efficiency 
out of this power so um, you see here that this is wind energy multiplied by 10 I, I will tell you why I multiply this with 10 just because of this graph will will look better and you will see much easier um, what's the energy in a different wind speed and here this is quite uh, important these are uh, some data that maybe you will find on the uh, internet I live in Canada and for Canada then you you can find this Canadian wind energy atlas and from here you can could extract the data depending on your location about the wind speed in any any time of the year or so you see here I live somewhere in this region so if I I click here I will see a zoom of this area and they measure the wind speed at 30 meters above the ground it's really small so you will not see here the city or anything you will need to, to make a zoom to see something here but uh, I took my data from from here because it, it was where I wanted to locate the the wind turbine and if I click here I will get um, data about this location like the annual mean wind speed it's 5.67 meter per second what it's more important it's the direction of the wind speed because this will help you locate the the generator like for example in this case you'll probably want to build a house somewhere here and put the wind turbine some somewhere in this part because then you see the predominant wind it's from this direction here from from west and from northwest and from south but there is almost no 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 wind from the north or northeast now here is uh, an even more important data this is what I used in my calculator you see here they show you how much time the wind will blow with a certain speed like for example around 4 meters per second maybe 5-6 meters per second it's the it's most of the time the wind will blow with this with this speed so and you could take the, um, the data from here you see I took all this data I think I forgot to show you something there is also a turbine formula so you could calculate here rapidly um, what you will get from your wind turbine but for this you need to know the, the maximum output power and cut in wind speed and rated wind speed so let's say you have a 100 watt turbine and cut in wind speed will be let's say 4 meter per second and rated wind speed will be let's say 12 meter per second usually these are the the standard for turbines but you could design your turbine depending on your location differently so if I submit this data I will get how much power I will do annually or in winter spring and so on so uh, the energy the total energy in one year will be 230 kilowatt hour so quite a lot of energy it depends on on your use but for 100 watt wind turbine this is not a bad location to to place a wind turbine 
So this will mean something like uh, 20 kilowatt per month in average, something like this. Okay, very fast I will present also the graph here. Um, there are three curves. It's a blue, green and red one. And it's uh, it represents exactly the data in the table with, uh, with the same color background as the curve colors. Also there, there is an area here and uh, it's, it represents the wind energy and uh, the stripes over this uh, kind of orange colors it represents the extracted energy so for example if I will change uh, something in here for example I will increase the size of the or the di diameter of the turbine to let's say 18 centimeters then you'll see that the extracted energy is less than the mechanical power available at the turbine so and this is because um, the the speed will be lower and uh, you you'll even though the wind turbine will be bigger you will not be able to to get all the energy from the mechanical energy available at a turbine so and you will see here that your use factor is only 65 percent so if i change here to 14 centimeter you see it use factor it's 95 percent which is which is great Everything eight, over 80% it's really good. And what else? And here you could see the output energy it's, uh, in kilowatt hour per month. And in this case it's 11.17 kilowatt hour per, per month. This is an average, of course. You'll get a bit more in the winter and a bit less in the in the summer. Or it depends on where you live maybe it's it's different this is what i it happens in my location okay i think this is about all you you can download this i will put a link in the description and you could download this um i made this in open office so i'm not sure if everything will work in in uh, uh, microsoft office but um let me know in the comment if it doesn't work and I'll try to fix it. I, I have no Windows computer available here, so I could not do a test if it works or not, but it should work. It's it's very simple. I, I didn't use any macros or things like that. It's just simple formulas and that's all. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will try to answer.